It all began with a misunderstanding. When the Telgorian fleet first encountered a representative of the Neophytic Alliance, they sent a bouquet of their most beautiful native flowers as their usual greeting. The only problem, the extremely nature-loving dryads took a bouquet of dead flowers as a declaration of war. This encounter marked the beginning of the first major interspecies conflict in the Alma Barrett Quadrant. It lasted for approximately 400 years. Since most of the races did not have access to FTL technology at that time and their weapons technology can generally be regarded as primitive, the armed conflict was often limited to threats, verbal attacks and illegal littering. The production of the Universal Translator developed by the RFS Consortium helped to settle the conflict and led to peace talks being initiated. Also additional potential grounds for conflict, such as Eureka's Great Dolphin Barbecue. The Celebramer's gigantic space loudspeakers and other trivialities to also be nipped in the bud. So much for history, recruit. Let's get back to your real job here at the RFS Consortium's Tear Test Lab. This lab is not only designed to house a highly sophisticated artificial intelligence called Val, which would be me, in case you've forgotten that in the last few minutes, as my brain scan suggests, but is also responsible for the Startopia project. The goal of Startopia is to create multipurpose space bases capable of being used by all alien species as places of encounter and exchange. And, of course, to earn a huge amount of energy to cover the exorbitant salaries of the RFS board. Recruit, you have been selected to work in the Startopia Base Simulator, or SBS for short, to acquire the knowledge necessary to run such a Startopia base. But before you can do so, you must go through the RFS Executive Motivation Training Course. You can do it. You're a born leader. We believe in you. Fanfares, congratulations. You have successfully completed the Commander Training Course and are now entitled to take the final exam on the simulator. Good luck, Commander. Welcome to your first test scenario, Command R. I'm very curious to see how you will cope. This simulation includes a Startopia base orbiting the garbage planet Sarkar. A, and I quote from the Universal Database, disgusting cesspit that should find its deserved end in a black hole. The goal of this scenario is to generate energy by recycling garbage. There are only a few basic buildings available and space is limited. You will mainly, or more precisely, exclusively, come into contact with Telgor and bugs. Expect visitors to leave a lot of garbage lying around. I don't think I need to go into any more detail. According to the scenario guidelines, it is impossible to fail. However, I would like to add that carbon-based life forms have always surprised me in this respect. Very well, Commander, you may proceed. As an old Gononian folk saying goes, every being is the wash quantang of their own fortune. An ancient skilled trade in which bricks are formed from one's own excrement. Initiate welcome protocol. Welcome, Commander. I am confident that even a carbon-based life form will be able to cope with the very manageable parameters of this scenario. After all, it's all about collecting garbage. A fuzzy with only limited functionality previously solved this scenario in less than 20 minutes. I therefore assume that you will be able to complete it with Command R, Commence Operations.
Congratulations, Commander. You have successfully built a berth as your first room. I foolishly stopped measuring your time after my countdown subprocessor hit its third overflow. But I assume you have achieved more or less acceptable results considering the capabilities of a carbon-based life form. Excellent, Commander. You've managed to build a recycling station. Remember that semi-functional fuzzy I told you about at the beginning? Well, it had already completed all of the other test scenarios in the time you needed. But I think it's a rather tough comparison because it was limited in functionality and you, oh. In order to successfully complete this test scenario, it is now necessary to fully utilize the recycler's functionality. I trust you will have no problem with that, Commander. A quick glance at your social media accounts shows that you're an expert on trash. A second recycling station is a splendid idea, Commander. It can take care of trash, garbage and other things that have fallen by the wayside. Unfortunately, it won't be able to recycle shattered career dreams, Commander. Commander, your recycling station sparkles and shines. This is mainly due to the fact that it is not yet operational because you have not yet hired any Telgor. Commander, I see you still haven't had any garbage bots built. I have therefore provided you with some as a precaution, because without them you can't complete the scenario.
Excellent work, Commander. You have acquired the required amount of energy. You did it with the birth and not the recycling station, but at least it's something. I hope you realize this of course does not terminate the test scenario. It was just a gentle hint. Commander, you have just successfully built your first garbage bot. A thing that one tries to fill with other things, but which reaches its maximum capacity much too quickly. Wait, are we talking about you and your training here? Excuse me, my routine small talk subprocessor seems to be malfunctioning. A most experimental choice, Commander. Commander, I would like to congratulate you on the 50th visitor to your simulated station. If this were reality rather than a test scenario, the time frame would be rather unacceptable. Here, however, you are working within a simulation under optimal conditions. So the time frame is completely unacceptable. Commander, reports indicate that 99.9% .9 of all carbon life forms require atmosphere to breathe. Therefore, it is probably a good idea to set up an atmosphere filter for your visitors even if this is only a simulation.
Commander, fanatics from the terrorist organization Trash Beast have discovered a subatomic quantum loophole in our shield and have beamed garbage bombs on board. If they explode, they will cause damage and spread garbage throughout the area. But you can rest easy in the knowledge that it can't harm me. Initiate bomb subprotocol alpha. Commander, your station ratings are splendid. An interesting choice, Commander. I would advise you to keep an eye on Bugrathorian visitors. And maybe keep a mop ready, just in case. Commander, apparently garbage fanatics have planted some bombs on your station. Isn't that interesting? Commander, you do not have a fuzzy charging station. Without it, your fuzzies will inevitably run out of energy. It is imperative that you construct such a room. Commander, recycling the garbage bombs is an excellent idea. Only 99.3% of all other candidates came up with this solution. I suggest you try recycling a larger amount of these garbage bombs in order to make the test scenario more exciting. One of your employees has quit. One of your employees has quit.
One of your employees has quit. One of your employees has quit. Commander, one of your employees has just quit their job. An interesting choice, Commander. It's contrary to your original goal, but, well, I'll just make a note of it. An employee has just quit. Look out, Commander. Trash fanatics have thrown bombs at the station. Commander, I wanted to point out to you that with your energy or prestige you can buy very interesting things from my experimental laboratory or, as my naming algorithm calls it, the Val Shop. You should definitely take a look at them. Commander, trash fanatics have managed to successfully detonate a garbage bomb on your station. Maybe next time you should collect and dispose of them instead of watching them explode. Garbage bomb recycling initiated. Commander, my sensors indicate that you still do not have a communication center. Unless you feel you belong to the rock-like species Sothmora. Commander, more garbage bombs have been smuggled onto Startopia. Commander, you have successfully completed the recycled garbage bomb supplementary mission. I think you deserve a reward for that. Can you feel that? You are feeling a slight mix of endorphins and cortisol. Commander, yet another garbage bomb has exploded on your station.
Candor reports indicate that 99.9% .9 of all carbon life forms require atmosphere to breathe. Therefore, it is probably a good idea to set up an atmosphere filter for your visitors even if this is only a simulation. Look out, Commander. Trash fanatics have thrown bombs at the station. Commander, I'm beginning to think you're deliberately allowing those garbage bombs to explode. Do you enjoy that? Does it make you happy? Eventual mental disorder detected. Electroshock therapy to be noted in personnel file. Excellent work, Commander. I see you've managed to build a communication center. I mean, you created a simple construction order for your fuzzies and then they did all the work. Sarcasm speech module not found. Bravo. Garbage bomb recycling has been ordered. Look out, Commander. Trash fanatics have thrown bombs at the station. Commander, yet another garbage bomb has exploded on your station. Commander, you have now acquired two-thirds of the necessary energy. Extrapolating from your previous results, I can safely put my subprocessors on standby for the next few million cycles.
Garbage bomb recycling has been ordered. Commander, you've thrown another garbage bomb into the recycling station. Commander, more garbage bombs have been smuggled onto Startopia. Commander, your tenacity is remarkable. I mean, the time you have already spent in this scenario can't even be entered in the appropriate evaluation form because it has too many digits. Others would probably have already given up, drunk several cups of coffee, gone to bed or, well, simply completed the scenario within a reasonable time frame. But carry on at your own pace, we don't want to put you under any pressure. Not yet. Congratulations, Commander, you have successfully achieved the goal and generated the required amount of energy. Some doubted your success, while others objected that you could not fail in this test scenario. I replied that if there is a way to fail in this scenario, you will find it. Nevertheless, you have successfully completed this scenario. Congratulations, Commander.